Welcome to Helen's Heavenly De Delight. And I have a wonderful guest today. You're going to be just excited. I'm telling you, he's just wonderful. And this is my first time meeting him, and, and you're going to love him. He has a lot of information for you, and I thank God for him. Now, let me tell you something about Helen's Heavenly Delight. God has given me a vision. He has given me a desire. He planted in my heart, and I opened up my business last year, and I thank him for that, too. I have my business account. I have my uh, a 501, and I thank God for that. I can bake wedding cakes, any kind of dessert that you want, and I also make cakes out of purses. I make cakes out of anything. I do all kind of desserts, and it's just a talent that God blessed me with. But that's enough of that. Now, let's get down to my special guest. My special guest. He is the CEO of the Fellowship of Music and Arts Corporation. He's assistant minister of Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. And I would like for all of my viewers to pay attention to everything that he is saying because I didn't know anything about this gentleman. I didn't know anything about Bishop Andre Sonny Woods. I, when I was told about him, I say, who is Bishop Sonny Woods? And when they told me about Bishop Sonny Woods and, and how many records he had made, I said, what? Where have I been? I, th I think I've just been in a little matchbox because I didn't know anything about Bishop Wood. So, viewers, I would love and honor to, for you to welcome Bishop Andre Sonny Wood. I like that middle name, Sonny Wood. God well, bless you, Bishop. Bless you, bless you. Good to be here with you. Okay, Bishop. How did you get started in your gospel music? Well, I've, I've been blessed and fortunate from a child. Um, uh, my late grandfather started me, uh, uh, Bishop John Thomas Kerr. Uh, he saw my um, music ability, and it all came about one day in elementary school. My, really? my school teacher, my music teacher there, well, you know, back in the day we had the, uh, the chorale, the glee club, and all of that. Yeah. And um, we were told not to touch the instruments in the classroom. Okay. So my teacher stepped out the classroom, and me with my smart self, I jumped on the piano, and we was going at it. Really? And my teacher came back, and I didn't know it because the piano, my back was turned to the door. Okay. And all my classmates were saying, hey, you know, pointing, say she was at the door. I thought I was in trouble when she said, see me after class. Okay. But what she did. She, she asked me, she said, how long have you been playing? I said, I just play. I mean, I hear it, and I get to the piano and play it. She called my parents and told them, put this boy in school. He has raw talent. Uh, he has potential. So my grandparents bought me a piano, and okay. me and my brother started taking piano lessons at Grinnell's downtown oh, years Grinnell's, ago. Yes. And then after that, we went to World of Stir and the late Reverend Charles Nix became my tutor, uh, and the rest, it started from there. And I used to do uh, music lessons almost every day after school. I had a key to the church. Really? I would go to church, and Kenny Troy uh, would be my tutor, young guy that I knew back then who could play, mm -hmm. and uh, Chris Ware. I mean, I can just call the role. Uh, Dr. Dorgan Needham, Donald Vales, Frank wow. White, oh all the Herbert Picard. 
Uh, I had a chance to sit under tutorage for a little while of Alfred Bolden and uh, Thomas Whitfield. Really? A lot of, lot of those greats that are going on now uh, had a had a hand in my musical uh, career. So I've been blessed. Alma Lois Hendrix Parham, who used to own Alma and Carl's Music Shop. Oh, my God. Uh, me and my brother song with the Community Youth Ensemble as kids right there on uh, Oakland and Holbrook, right down there. Okay. So... It's, it's been a long journey, and, and, and I've been tremendously blessed. I've had the opportunity to record uh, with the Gospel Music Workshop of America, the, the late Reverend James Cleveland. I recorded oh, with St. James Baptist Church uh, for many years and, and produced their last couple of albums, Hold Back the Night. And uh, it's been a blessing. And then I was able to uh, form my own traveling group okay. called Chosen. Oh, okay. And we were able to travel all over the country. And we were blessed with an honor uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, some years ago, we sung at the, um, the National Folk Life Festival okay. uh, sponsored by the Smithsonian Institute uh, in Washington, D.C. We did a whole week there. Then we came back uh, to Michigan, and uh, we were at, in Lansing, and we did the Michigan Folk Life Festival, and we represented the gospel music era. Uh, back in the day, so we we I've I've been blessed. I've been to Japan. I've been to Sweden. Been oh my there. God! You know, so um, it's been a wonderful, wonderful journey. So music has been my life for over thirty years. But God, but God, he's been he's been gracious. And the highlight of of my uh, career, I had a chance uh, when Thomas Whitfield was producing uh, Vanessa Bell. Okay. He called me and asked me for a song, and uh, I was able to uh, give her a song, the song called Faith That Conquers, yes. on her chosen mm -hmm. uh, recording. And then my, my highest achievement thus far to the date, I still claim and thank God for his grace, his mercy, and favor, is the uh, song that I wrote for Keith Pringle back in the 80s. Okay. It was his title song, I Feel Like Going On. Oh my and then later in the 90s, it appears in the uh, motion picture, The Five Heartbeats, in the church scene. Okay. So I was blessed to have that honor to have one of my songs in a motion picture. So uh, it's, it's been a wonderful yes. journey. It's been and, a wonderful journey. And God has blessed me, made favor <laughs> to me. Helen's heavenly delight to yes, have you yes, yes. on this show. Thank you for having me. And Thank that's you. favor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma I do. It's been, it's been a joy. It's been a joy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, tell me, what are you doing now? Well, uh, uh, recently, last few years, uh, you know, outside of doing some some uh, teaching and and tutoring like music classes, okay. I have what's called a uh, uh, music training lab from time okay. to time because I, I wasn't able to uh, to teach on a regular week to week basis. And one of my one of my main mentors, and I always recognize him, and that's Dr. Uh, Reverend. Well, he's not a reverend, but I used to call him Doc because his brother was a minister. Okay. Uh, uh, Professor Kenneth Minor. Okay. Minor Brothers uh, School of Gospel and Classical Music. Uh, he was my tutor for years, and I even taught at his music school. And so when I, because of my schedule and traveling, wasn't able to do that, okay. I started doing like monthly um, training music labs. Well, I just call musicians together, we get together, and I kind of tutor them, help them, and talk about the music business. Okay. So now we have formed what's called the Fellowship of Music and Arts. Okay. And through that, through that, uh, we are able to reach out to uh, musicians. And uh, one of my one of my main goals is to uh, get church musicians and well, musicians at large, because I'm a product of Detroit Public Schools. Okay, I am too. When I was coming along, uh, we had music classes. Yes. The music budget has been cut. That you know they don't have the opportunities that we had years ago. When I was going to school, uh, i never forget one of my teachers, Frederick Sipes, at Butsell Junior High okay. over on Van Dyke. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, in one of our music classes, 21 electric pianos where we were able to learn the fundamentals of music, and we had a class. It was an extracurricular class, okay. but it was available, okay. and uh, we lost it because we couldn't get enough of the, of the students uh, to become interested in music because how 
how long some people didn't have the patience. Everybody wanted to play baseball, right, basketball, right. and football, mm-hmm. all that. But what I've come to know uh, over the years that that there are so many career opportunities mm-hmm. in music yeah. that a lot of times we don't know. And like the Bible say, we perish from a lack of knowledge. Yes. But since I've been in the music industry and have had some challenges and had some education about mm-hmm. what's mm-hmm. available to us, I mean, look at it. Our music is uh, 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 in movies now, yes. uh, on TV, on radio. We're doing jingles. We're producing. We're writing. We're, we're doing everything in the music industry. And the Fellowship of Music and Arts is about educating the average musician on the career opportunities, not only uh, how to get some uh, advanced uh, teaching and training, we're networking and we're partnering with Wayne State University. Praise God. Uh, Nor Duncan there and, and all of the staff there. We're, we're trying to help musicians understand the music business. Okay. We're partnering also with the Detroit Federation of Musicians, uh, Mr. Al McKenzie, who is one of the only black uh, board of directors. So okay. he's making history. And, and our community don't really know about that. You know, so uh, we're partnering with him and we're trying to teach musicians and uh, people that are interested in music, especially independent artists, mm-hmm. that, that, that there are jobs out there. You may not be a singer mm-hmm. or a musician, but there are jobs behind the scene. You can be a lyricist. Okay. You can just write poetry, write music, and collaborate with arrangers and make money that way. There's a career there. You can write commercials. Okay. You can do jingles. You can, you can do radio spots. You can do voiceovers. I mean... There's so much there. You can be a producer, an engineer in the studio. There's so much behind the scenes. And a lot of our people don't read credits. When you flip a CD over or back in the day when I came along, LP, mm-hmm. you know, you would read the credits. Okay. And a lot of those people in the credits, uh, you, you never saw them at all. But they were the producer. They were the engineer. And in some cases, they were the songwriters. Okay. And in some cases, they were the studio musicians okay. who got paid st- uh, uh, um, what I would call uh, uh, wages that were, uh, uh, that were uh, equal to working as a union musician. Mm-hmm. And, and that's another thing. We're stressing to musicians, even if you're in gospel, whatever, you, whatever uh, 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 genre of music you like, join up with the yeah. the federation of musicians it's beneficial you can get jobs you get you get discounts on your on your insurance you i mean it's so much it's a wealth of information well, that God. the fellowship have tried to make themselves a resource center an information center where we can mm-hmm. get this information out to the basic musicians and interest them in musical careers because trust me, you would love. You get to travel. I've I've I've, I've oh, traveled, ah. stayed in the best hotels, uh, you know, the best of company, and and meet. You get to meet people. You get to network with people. They help you. I mean, it's 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 nothing like music. Amen. Nothing Amen. like music. I tell well, you. Well, see, see, that's why God had me to to have you here because yes. of Black History, and we need this information. Yeah. Now, where is this this uh, music and art school located? Well, what we're doing now, we're, we're working on getting our own location. That's futuristic. Praise but God. what we do, we, we, we move it around to various venues. Uh, we've, we've used uh, 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 hotel uh, ballrooms. We've used churches. Okay. And we have different functions, different places. Okay. We're in the midst of working on a, a big project now uh, for the fall of this year. Okay. And uh, we're, we're looking at getting, you know, mm-hmm. banks and sponsorships and okay. grants. Uh, one of our biggest projects on the table that, that I think I can go ahead on and speak on now yes. <laughs> uh, is we're partnering, because we've done it before, we're partnering with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. Praise God. And we're going to be soon announcing a date that we're going to be uh, preparing for a concert with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra, and at that concert, we're going to we're going to highlight some of Detroit's finest gospel writers, and we're going to present a gospel concert featuring uh, some of our writers in the gospel community, uh, and we're going to invite everybody to just come out and have a ball, and we're going to put together an ecumenical mass choir. Okay. Well, we'll be rehearsing, and we're going to put all that information out. 
uh, on our page on Facebook, the Fellowship of Music and Arts. And if I can, I'd, I'd like to have everybody that's listening to just go join us. Yes. It don't cost you nothing to join the Fellowship of Music and Arts. We're on Facebook. And then there you can check uh, daily, weekly, and see what our activities are okay. and what we're going to be doing. we got some wonderful things coming up. We've done uh, annual hymn sing Praise where God. those who love the hymns of the church, okay. we come together and refresh ourselves and introduce hymns for those who don't know the hymns. Okay. We do gospel music concerts. I've had what's called the open mic series okay. where we have folk come that, you say you may not know this singer. That's it's so right, much talent right, in Detroit. Right, right. Oh yes, and, it is. And weekly, I'm discovering and I'm hearing uh, up and coming new talent, soloists, groups, choirs, musicians. So we're trying to build a platform for okay. them to have somewhere to have a captive audience, so we can introduce them to the world. And I'm doing this because years ago somebody get, did it for me. Yes. They said, that boy right there, he can play. That boy can write. Your teacher. And, and so mm -hmm. now God has blessed me to be yes. in that same kind of position that the platform I had years ago to uh, have a chance to uh, exhibit my gifts and talents. We're trying to do that for upcoming uh, independent artists who may not know that this platform is available. Well, praise God. Yes. I want to join. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're inviting solo singers. If you got a group, if you got a choir, if you write music, listen, we invite you to just, just let me know who you are okay. at the Fellowship of Music and Arts. And, and, and listen, we're open, and we want to try to make this available to everybody because uh, 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 nothing joins us together like music. Amen. I, we can music fall out. Oh, listen, music. music has a way. And you know the definition of music is the universal language. I mean, yeah. it just has a way of bringing everybody yes. together. And so we want to do that. And we're, we're, not, we're not prejudiced. We're talking about cross-denominational lines, yes. racial barriers, yes. all the things. There's some things we got coming up that we're going to be doing, ecumenical projects okay. and services where we just going to be the Methodist, the Baptist, the Church of God and Christ, mm -hmm. the Presbyterian, the Cap, whosoever will. Yes. It's music. It's music. And, and, and every Sunday... Uh, uh, more than not, a lot of churches sing some of the same songs out of those hymn books. You got the Catholic hymn book, the Methodist hymn book, uh, 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 the Baptist hymn book, Church of God. Everybody got a hymn book now. Yes, they do. But they got a lot of the same songs yes. in those hymn books, the old favorites, Amazing Grace, Holy, 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 and, and so forth. So uh, our thrust is to reach out to the general community, and because there's been a gap in uh, the technical training, the academic mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. of music. We're, we're partnering with uh, 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 educational institutions like Wayne State University, and hopefully we're going to partner with Detroit Public Schools with uh, Mr. McAllister. We're, we're going to be partnering with uh, uh, Black United Fund and others right here locally. And we're trying to bring in the churches, the pastors, the school, everybody. We want to well, touch... That's, that's yeah. A, a desire that yeah. God has planted, and you will. Yeah, we, we're going to yeah. touch him. Yeah. And, and, and I've been blessed, and I thank God for the influence that he's given me to you just say to, to my partners and those that work with me on the board, uh, listen, we need to do this not only for ourselves, that we can have something to share, but for the generation that's coming after Praise us. God. There needs to be something in place where we can preserve Yes. Our music. Yes. I'm teaching musicians now. Listen, write it down. All that music you're walking around with in your head, you need to learn how to get your music scored, put it on sheet music. Yes. You need to learn how to get it copywritten. Mm -hmm. You need to understand uh, a writer's agreements and contracts. We're teaching all of that. Praise God. So uh, we're a one-stop shop. Oh, that's wonderful. And I'm, pr I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm so should happy. You be proud. Yes, because yes. Because, see, God has blessed each Every, everyone with certain talents. Yes, yes. And you have to apply it. You have to use it. Yeah, I, I don't want these young writers that go through what I went through. See, when I started out in the music business, mm -hmm. I was I was a little, I was a novice. You know, I had to get a lawyer, and then I had someone come to me and say, you need a publisher, you need to learn how to read writer's agreements. And I got burned just, it only took one time. <laughs> and then I had to sue Okay. You know, because I didn't know what I was doing. Right, but right. after getting educated, I said, you know, uh, uh, I got myself protected. I got all my contracts. I understand the business 
today more now than I did back then. Mm -hmm. And so what we're trying to do is help young up-and-coming artists to avoid the pitfalls and making the mistakes that most artists have made, whether it's R&B, gospel, classical, whatever. A writer's agreement almost reads the same. It's always in the interest of the company. Right and if you're going to deal in with dealing with these record companies, you got to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with publishers. You got to know what you're doing. You want to make sure that you're getting your just royalties out of everything that's coming to you because you're the artist. You're the writer. Amen. Without your without your without your music, they don't have nothing to publish. Amen. So why let make why why let other folk make all the money off of you, and you not even knowing it's coming. So. Uh, I'm a CSAC writer. I'm one, I'm in one of the unions that protect me. Uh, they make sure I get my royalties four okay. times a year. I call it a wonderful mailbox blessing. Go to the mailbox. <laughs> and uh, all the songs that I've been blessed to write that are out there in the market, Praise whenever God. it's played on the air, I get paid. Okay. And they see to it that my royalties are, are divvied up between my publisher and myself justly. And so we're trying to teach and train others, you know, don't just get excited about recording. I know okay. you're excited about mm -hmm. singing and the mm -hmm. Lord done blessed you and mm -hmm. all that. But God gives us common sense. Wisdom. There's mm -hmm. business behind this ministry. That's right. So make sure that, that you dot every I, cross every T, mm -hmm. so you can be protected because they out there to take you. Oh, yeah. While you loving the Lord and singing praises, uh -huh. you know, they're going to the bank. Amen. But, you know, <laughs> we thank God for all of this information that, you have given us yeah. today, and that's why I'm going to have you come back. Yes, uh, yeah, oh, I yeah, appreciate it. So I you can continue it. to bless my viewers. And like I tell my viewers all the time, when you least expect it, yeah, <laughs> you are selected. You're the star. Smile. You're on he Helen's heavenly delight. And again, I will give my number out. So if you would like to order baked goods, that's 248-716-3825 again. That's 248-716-3825. Mm -hmm. And I would like to have the bishop pray for me, the station, and pray for my viewers right now. All right. Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy. We thank you for this awesome day, a day which we've never seen that you, you so Jesus. graciously blessed us with. We thank you for favor. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for uh, this woman of God. Thank you, we thank you for her faith and thank the act Jesus. upon her faith. Hallelujah. We thank you for this program, thank these you. airwaves, this thank station, Jesus. the proprietor. We ask that you will bless and continue. Yes, Go before them and make easy and successful their way. And whatever their hearts desire might be, we pray that you'll bless the work of their hands. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Remember now, what I always tell you, Jesus is doing a drive-by. So you be ready and get your house in order because Jesus is riding in your neighborhood. And I love you guys. I pray for you daily. I pray for you daily and continue to pray for me and to hold me up in your prayers because the devil is busy, but he's alive. Because just like what God said in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against you, my viewers, me, my family, the bishop, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank God for his word. And remember what I tell you. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. When right. God plants a seed in you, you step out on his word. Because God is a God that cannot lie and cannot fail. His promises is yes and amen. And remember Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not to thy own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. I trust God. From Genesis to, to, to Revelation, every dot, every die. I trust every dot, every I. I trust him for everything. I trust him for my wonderful children and my family. And let me give a shout out to my wonderful pa pastors, Pastor First Baptist World Changers, Pastor Lanal Caldwell. I love you guys. And remember, there's nothing impossible with God. See you next time.